What's going on everybody, it's Zach Michael here and today we're back with a brand new video. I'm going to be making a melody loop losing my brand new Repro 5 synth bank. I have a bunch of sounds in here and they're on my site. So feel free to check those out if you want to purchase this. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, Repro 5 is actually a synth I've used in a ton of my loops over the years. For anybody who doesn't know, I've made 100 melody loops every single week for 4 years straight without missing a week. And I've kind of mixed in these sounds into a lot of my samples over the years. I just like how they sound. The synth is very, very dynamic, does a lot, and also just sounds really, really clean. But today we're going to be creating a loop using just my Magic Repro 5 bank, which is out now on my site. So let's go ahead and kind of find like a main sound. I think I like this harp. So we're going to kind of use that. And we're going to set the tempo for 151, but we might end up changing that. And today I'm feeling like making something E minor. So we're just going to go ahead and kind of draw up the scales just to make it easier to visualize what I'm explaining as we go along. So first thing we do is kind of lay out some bass notes. Something like that. And we're going to start with just the first and third bar and then we'll fill in the two and four later. So the next thing we're going to do is essentially create some triads here so that's just like that and those are our triads so I'm gonna take the middle note pitch it up yep just like that and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna strum this first chord yep just like that nice all right Next thing we're going to do is kind of pull that out, that last note there. We're also going to create more bass notes by lowering those an octave and then just turn down the velocity. Just like that. Randomize the velocity. And we're going to pitch this down though. It's still a little high for my liking, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. Yep. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four. So now it's in C minor. Sounds good. We're just going to turn it down a bit. And next, we're going to load up the same synth and go ahead and try to pull up another sound from my Magic Bank. I like this synth never. So we'll go ahead and use it. I'm also going to remove the C minor. At this point, we don't really need that. We're just going to kind of create a little like lead melody almost. I like how that sounds. Next, we're going to load up another one of Repro Vive. And I want to take this soft pluck. I heard it before when we were making the original, you know, picking the original sound. I just like how it sounds. And we're just going to kind of turn this into like a texture. And you'll see how, because now we kind of have like our three main layers for now. So we can kind of start mixing it up a little bit. So we're going to load up. We'll use glitch two to kind of make this something. We're going to do eight beats, four divisions, and not the reverser. Let's see, we're just going to make this work. Something like that. I'm gonna turn the drive down. Next, we're gonna throw more reverb on it. And I'm gonna add my own delay. So we're gonna go delay three, and then do a ping pong delay, and just kinda turn this down a bit. Yep. This synth here is really all I wanna do is just kinda Add some more highs. And then pull back in the original harp. And we'll throw a little bit of fruity reverb on it, but nothing too crazy. And we might also boost some of the mids. We'll cut out that very, very lows there. See, if you look, 
There's this really low frequency here, which I don't want as much of that. It's going to clash with 808 later on. So the next thing we're going to do is just add a nice synth base to this. So we have a synth base section. So let's load up my magic bank. There's three fire ones here. I want to use this one and we're just going to process it a little bit by just kind of like throwing a little filter on it almost with an EQ. Just something very simple like that. We might even process this a little more. We'll throw a decapitator on it and we're just going to punish it. And then just turn it down and further cut some of the highs. Might pitch it up, speed up the tempo I meant. So we're going to go to 153. So now let's just go ahead and kind of get started on the arrangements. I'm going to render out each section. I do this just so there's no like reverb blending between sections and it just helps with like people when they get the sample, they want to cut it up or use certain sections, etc. So I just kind of render out each of these and then we're just going to kind of get started on the arrangement. So we'll just render that one out. Last one and just kind of duplicate this over. So first we're going to have every sound and I want to have a section without the synth bass. And just little individual sections with just each layer and then just the sample stems at the end here so people can cut these up if they want to process it differently or mix it differently but yeah that's creating a loop using my magic repro 5 bank if you want to purchase it it's out now on my site if you don't have repro 5 you can either purchase that synth of course or i have tons of other vst sound banks for other synths so maybe you have one of those so feel free to check it out but thanks so much for watching Head on over to elizabethrecords.net if you'd like to support me. You can purchase VST expansion banks, drum kits, loop kits, and mini kits that'll level up your production there.